All right, welcome back to Vintage Repair Shop. Many of you longtime viewers, by longtime viewers, I mean back when I was a couple thousand subscribers ago, so thanks for all you guys and you guys. Remember, this channel was built on um, actually working on tractors, and then when that got to be not as much fun as I thought it was going to be, we shifted into filming other people's projects at tra tractor poles because it was much easier. But one of those projects we started many moons ago, actually like last November, so not last November, but the year before that's like 2021 still, was the VAC. A guy, a buddy of mine, had his grandpa had a 48 VAC, which we actually figured out later. It was front half of one, back half of another. Either way, somewhere at some point, this motor was put under the water and then left there, we think, because that motor was locked up solid. There's, I think, a six-part video of me trying to get the motor freed up. It ended up being what our last winter we took I took a 150 pound um, Oliver wheel weight on a wrench and hunted on there with the head off and all the main caps or all the um, rod caps off so the, the only two pistons needed to move in order for this thing to fall off and it sat like that for three months nothing moved so needless to say we decided to change change routes at that point we tried to find a motor which as many VACs as there are, it was hard to find a motor. We ended up, we thought we found two, um, and long story, missed text messages and um, shipping issues is what we'll say, is caused that to be where this is. So, it actually worked out better because what we were gonna pay for that motor to have shipped here, we have half the money in this tractor, which this, being a Y front, is a VAI, which would have been the industrial standard version of it most importantly this has a motor that's still good so what our plan is big plan future plan we're gonna take this motor out we're gonna put that motor in the VAC which is tucked back in the garage with lots of stuff piled on it because that's where it's at right now and then this thing will go to the land of whatever but actually I have a bigger plan for this um, because of the way it's set up and we'll talk about that once we once we bring you around and you can actually check it out. So what we're gonna do tonight before the sun hopefully goes down is we're gonna see if this motor runs. It supposedly runs. I haven't heard it run and it's been here since Thanksgiving. So let's say it's almost April. I, I thought maybe leaving it out here would just start up one time on its own and it didn't. So we're gonna try and get it to run. It does, we'll see if it turns over. It should, um, I mean, it's got newer spark plugs in it. And so that's gotta, that's gotta be good. And the spark plug wires look good. We did have it pretty well covered up all winter, at least all the important stuff. So hopefully no water got in it, but we'll uh, we'll kind of go through some stuff on what, what to look at to see if you can get an engine to turn over, what you want to do. And then we're going to see if this thing can fire up. And then um, if it fires up, we got to move like five tractors, or not five tractors, but we got to move my farm all and my truck. And then we're going to try and get it spun around. I don't know if that's going to happen tonight. I'm hoping just to get it fired up tonight and then I can make the plan. So I need to spin it around so I can yoink the motor out and take all this up because it actually would have had a loader on it at one point um which is all this framework which you know what I'll, I'll, I'll bring you around all right so i can't remember what year this is i'm pretty sure the motor is off something different because of it doesn't the paint doesn't match everything else and also that was yellow i don't know if the vai if Case was painting these yellow at one point and then half it wasn't, but it would have had a loader on it because of, well, the way that is. The advantage is, and you can see back here, it's the rest of that loader chassis, or loader framework. It also has a woods motor on it. If anyone's looking for a woods motor, I think we're going to be selling this one. Um, the advantage with that setup is, or what's kind of cool about it, um, is what I want to do with this tractor. And we got... I got, I got plans for it, and I haven't talked to my customer yet, but I think he doesn't have plans for it. I'm going to try and, when I yank this motor out, I think, because right now the motor is part of the framework without this on. The motor is part, as an integral unit on the frame. And I'm thinking, we yank this motor out of here. We put a cross member... We built some kind of cross members to strengthen it up enough, but I mean, that's some pretty good steel. I mean, worst case, I'll, I'll make a good, uh, I'll use that to make some uh, pulling brackets out of. But what I'm more thinking is, we're going to do the Predator motor tractor when this, when this motor's out, this project's done, and the VAC's running nicely. Drop a five, drop a, you know, $200 or whatever they are, 
$200, $150, whatever it is, Predator motor in there and see if we can make this thing just a cool little fun tractor. Um, obviously, would never run that just to putz around. But, yeah, it's a nice little, like I said, we bought it for cheap. Front mount hydraulic pump on it. And, like I said, the only issue we do have is there is this light crack in the block here, which when we get it all out, we're going to try and run it first and see what it does and see if it looks like someone want, someone put some schmoo on that first, some silicone. But it hasn't leaked nothing, and I can't remember. Actually, no, I can't remember if this thing had antifreeze in it or not. We'll look together. You see anything down there? Not seeing much, so we'll uh, we'll take care of that. I'll bring you back. We'll kind of get stuff. I'll get you in a spot, and we'll kind of start going over what what we're gonna do here. All right, I don't know if you can see down in there, but way this has a front-mounted uh, hydraulic pump, so there's no way to put a wrench on it. So I'm gonna try and do is uh, go on the other side and see if I can turn it over. Tell me if you see that move. better from this side I'm pretty sure it's freed up Let's see if I get it well now you won't be able to see hmm. well we'll see what we can do here I might not be able to see it if it moves or not no I can't see if it moves Let's see. You might not be able to see it for, but just trust me, I'll tell you if it moved or not. I don't know if you can see down in there. I got a better idea. Hold on. All right. What I did, it's not the best thing for a chain, but let's be honest, this thing's not getting that front mounted pulley on it. It looks like the right color green. It's because it is. I put a little bit of green spray paint on that. Now we'll see if when I turn it over, if that's away. So because you guys can't see nothing, I'm just going to go ahead and, well, I'll try and move it while I got you on camera. Ow. Can't try the fan. That feels great. Ow. Ow. Well, it moved. Let me see if we can see uh, some of the not painted stuff. So, I'm sure it's fine to put a battery on it. See what it does. So, Fuel's not hooked up. We're gonna do that later. What we'll first do is um, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and just see if it turns over and see if it goes thunk. We know it turns over a little bit, so it shouldn't break the nose cone of the starter off. We'll ease into it. Don't worry. Obviously, as you guys know, I'm just a case expert here, so I'm not. Here, so it looks like. They run like a Ford style solenoid. That would be like what your old Ford pickups have on their side of their truck. So that's your starter solenoid there. So it does look like it is a positive, um, positive or negative ground, excuse me. By the way, I think, yeah. Yeah, because this actually goes right to a ground. So at least that's the way it looks like. Hopefully that's the way it works. We'll find out. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's just got a push button. So what I'm gonna do this time is, I think I'll have to run some wires. I can't tell if this looks how many lights on it. So I think this must be your switch, your on off. So I'll go ahead and leave the ignition off for now while I'm trying to turn it over. And then we'll, uh, 
we'll just see if she if she whizzes and then i then i'll address the fuel and we'll see if she can get we can get her to pop it should pop like i said i'm glad we bought it from said it ran so we should be good should be is the theory so i'll get a battery in here well as you can see i have the regulation size battery this thing and um fit perfect probably should have probably put that one on the charger but being that it says 0306 on it i'm gonna bet that one's not gonna take a charge so we're gonna i brought you here don't worry the hood's not gonna fall it's got that safety bungee on it that's gonna be just fine let's uh i'll bring you around so i can at least have a hand ready to uh yank a battery cable off if it decides to go for broke here again ignition is off there's also no fuel happening so this should just be a test if it turns over this should be a test if it turns if it if it turns over that's good 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 that's maybe maybe it's got to have the battery switch on let's try that nope that's not it's not doing it either put that back in is it not the battery cable's not hooked up tight oh they're tight tight enough great all right i'll uh if i hit it more it's making all that noise you know it's really get the battery tester or the thing yeah okay so here's what i'm kind of figured out so far in the wiring the switch is still good i ohmed that out um so basically it's still getting connection but i was noticing i woke up at the, how the wiring was which is kind of a pain so the power power line goes down to that solenoid down there but it doesn't that power doesn't go anywhere else after that like there's and there's power on that side of the solenoid so I'm thinking when I was under here, there was this definitely approved wiring, solid core wire wrapped thing. And this, um, this was loose. Like this nut here was loose like that. And if you look, I'm gonna take the battery off so we don't make the pixels here. Um, this thing just about would go underneath there and then it kind of goes down in that region like it might have been wedged into that solenoid so i think what i'm going to do i'm going to run a new wire to that side I, I should just jump it but it's such a tight little fit in there so i'm either going to jump it take um this wire off here that goes down to the solenoid and I might just use that as a jumper, put that on there. It should lock the solenoid over. I'll probably do that for now, just to at least see if it turns over. And then, um, because again, we're not really, I'm not really wanting to work, put a bunch of time into this, getting this thing all wired right, because again, this motor's coming out. I'll spend that time on the other one. So give me uh, a couple minutes here. I'll bring you back and hopefully we'll be firing it up or turning it over. Well, Sorry. I said I was going to, fix it better and then so i've always said sometimes as a mechanic you have to play detective and it looked like on this battery cable is where this thing was jammed into and it kind of fits um so yes we will sing the ode to all dumb moves so as you guys know it's but the pg version time to do some sketchy stuff do da do da hope i get away with it oh da do da day Let's see if this thing starts. I'll hit the button right now. Hopefully it doesn't break. That would be real bad. Hey, it makes noise. It's a good sign. Let's keep looking at it. Well, I've been doing a lot of digging, a lot of looking, and remembering that that stupid battery wouldn't want to start the farm all early this year. Even though I had it on the charger, I thought to myself, Maybe it being a 2017, maybe, you know, my battery habits of, oh, we, got, we got good oil. Um, well, good enough to start of leaving stuff not run for a long time. 
and then I'm gonna charge it. Maybe it's come back to bite me. Maybe that battery's bad. Cause I was looking at everything. And you know, the 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 old school trick in my head was like, Kyle, the solenoid's noise buzzing, it's probably a dead battery. Oh, that was going in the back of my head, but I thought, oh bimster, you're smarter than that. Let's tear apart half this the wiring. Let's tear all the spark plugs out, which were actually new and they look pretty good. So let's try this again. So we'll try it again. We'll sing that special song that we all sing. This is the PG version of it this time. This definitely wasn't a splice because I accidentally said the other word. It's time to do some sketchy stuff. Do da, do da. Hope I get away with it. Oh, da, do da, day. All right, let's see. Channel all the inner, inner YouTube will it start video. So I'll do the, for Vice Group Garage, the Bring the Thunder, and for, uh, what is it? Diesel Creek, contact. She turns over. Well, step two, let's put spark plugs in this thing again and see if it'll actually start this time. So we'll go put some spark plugs back in and we'll get some fuel happening going on. But <laughs> quick tip, guys, I'm gonna throw that battery away. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. All right, so I got the uh, spark plugs all back in keys on now because it's starting to get dark and getting cold and lord knows i'm still wearing shorter rolls i'm gonna do the right thing and give it a little sniff sniff just see if it wants to do anything then we'll go from there probably in another video all right you know what this you know what to say say it at home either one's your favorite Ooh, that need a little more. oh that's not a good sign Hold on a second. Wait, notice what's happening down here. Oh boy. How do I disconnect that? I think that stuff. Well, I'll just keep my feet away from that. Let's give it a little more spray. Where's the throttle? Oh, that feels good. The throttle feels good. Let's open her up a little bit. That's definitely way too much for this little motor. Let's, let's give it a choke. Probably gonna want that. All right, we better figure out why. Make sure it's making lightning happen. Make sure it's not the wired at all. Dang it. All right. All right, folks. So here's where we're gonna kind of stop things. As you can tell, it's starting to get dark out. And with that, it's gonna start getting cold out. Now we know it turns over well. If you've heard it turn over. It might be a little low on compression, which I think the guy said that was a possibility. It does sound a little, um, a little low. But what do we know that this motor does that that motor does not? It's way back in there. Sorry for all my junk. It turns over. So at this point. We're moving forward with what we're going to do on it because we know that ultimately worst case scenario you got to throw a set of rings on it that's fine we know it runs good we know it at least turns over nice that one did not that one's locked up tighter than i don't know probably something mildly inappropriate but uh this one turns over really nice so for tonight i'm going to go ahead and shut her down just because i got to get all the stuff outside before it gets cold and i don't know it gets dark out here and ugh, don't want to be out in that no one no one wants that but we got we got we got good headway um i think all this title of this video will it turn over and um so yeah we'll we definitely checked that um i'll give you guys one more uh listen to it turn it over here like i said and it might be something that carb is screwed up like i said trying just to start it off with just straight up spraying ether in it is probably not a good idea you know smart choices we'll just listen to it here and it's making a lot of it's turning over pretty fast but it's turning over nice so we'll uh i did check the coil we got 12 volts there so in all reality it should start but i just don't know if it actually will um without some more digging it which i will do because like i said it's gonna be a whole lot easier to move this thing around without having to try and drag it 
drag it out in the street with one tractor and try and yank it in the front of the garage. Like I said, and I'd like to hear this motor run. So we'll be back now that the days are getting longer and the motivation's a whole lot higher. We'll uh, we'll do some more digging and move from there. But at least we got a good we got a good start. Heard it turn over nice. Um, I did have the spark plugs out when I first turned it over there, and um, definitely. We don't have any, there was no water, nothing in there. So it was buttoned up good for the winter, which is what I was hoping for. So, um, but yeah, so we'll go from there. We will see you on the next one. If you want to hear the mildly, no, you don't want to hear that. Anyway, stay, stay late. If you want to watch me say something almost inappropriate, good times. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>